Chris Delaney's story is not the saddest thing you will hear this week, because Donald Trump Jr. wrote a book. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be released in November, and it's called Triggered. <laughs> From what little we know, the book will touch on Don Jr.'s experience working on construction sites with his father. I still remember those grueling days playing Game Boy in the limo while Dad refused to pay the contractor. <laughs> yeah. I remember. <laughs> this is true. In the About the Author section, it says, Don Jr. is an avid outdoorsman, and when he's not on the campaign trail, he can be found on streams and in the mountains all over the world. <laughs> yes. Legend says he's in the mountains all over the world. No one's been able to get a photograph so far, just imprints of his feet and bro scat. <laughs> this fall, we'll be searching for him in the new CBS hit show, Finding Big Douche. <laughs> but we got a hit. We got a hit. <laughs> got to look for the footprint. But Don Jr. isn't even the most embarrassing person in Trump's orbit. That title goes to Commerce Secretary and man who lives by the phrase, soup before beer, you're in the clear. <laughs> Wilbur Ross. Ross has led the Commerce Department for more than two years, and in that time, insiders say the agency has reached an apex of dysfunction, which is also the name of Wilbur Ross's latest scream metal album. <laughs> Part of the uh, dysfunction uh, stems from the fact that Ross isn't around the office that much, as he spends much of his time at the White House to try to retain Trump's favor. Sucking up to Trump is a full-time job. Man, this talking walnut sure visits me a lot. <laughs> and even when Ross is at work, he's not exactly present, because according to Commerce Department insiders, Ross is prone to falling asleep <laughs> in meetings. Can you imagine the horror his staff must feel every time this happens? Oh, God. He definitely has to be dead this time, right? <laughs> Get me a small hand mirror and a poking stick. <laughs> He's fine. It's misting up. But the Commerce Department's woes don't end with Ross because his absent leadership has created tension between old and new staffers, so much so that political appointees sometimes close doors right in front of career employees to keep them out of meetings, which must be demoralizing. But you know what they say, when God closes a door, the slam wakes up Wilbur Ross. <laughs> Soup! We got a great show for you tonight.